Hey guys, Mike here from Messi Entertainment. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some drag and drop features uh, in the new 4.0 version. So, when we add a style, we can select one from the drop down, which is probably how you're already doing it. Uh, but better still, we can just drag it in there. So, let's create a style or create a component even. And now, let's say we want to create a style for that. So, what we would do is just grab the game object. And drag it in there. Note as well, we're not dragging the component here. It, that'll do nothing. We're dragging the game object because then the game object can scan for other stuff. Like if it was an input field, it'd have an input field component and an image on there. And then it's going to ask us if we want to include the rec transform. So in this case, I don't because I don't want them all in the same place. Call that title. So, uh, so you can see that that's taken the the properties and took took them into consideration when creating it. So another thing to note is we can change the properties on the actual component and drag that into the style to update them. We can also add a shadow, an outline and gradient. <coughs> so note as well if I change the colour of this and then drag the component, so let's change the colour of that as well you see that the component will update but the shadow hasn't and that's because we grabbed the component so that by dragging the component we know nothing about the game object it's attached to so we don't know what else is with it so if we wanted to take it all into consideration just grab the game object and drag that in there and then that will even get the rec transform and the, any effects that are on there uh, also if you want to just grab the rec transform drag, drag a rec transform in there to update the properties there uh, another good one is the path, so you can do the path and the find by, so let's just create a few of these. So if we grab this path here, uh, so if we grab the object and drag it into the find by place, we'll add that find by name to it. You can do that by selecting many at once as well. Uh, and then the, the path as well, so let's say one of these, let's take this one down here and give it an image. So it's got a custom custom component with it. We want to update the path for that. So let's first of all just drag the component. I don't know if I showed you this one. So you can drag the components here. Say if we want to add an image component, drag that there, and that create us an image. So <clears throat> so now we need to update this path here. So we can grab that path, and drag it in there. Now notice as well, this isn't going to work, and it's going to give us a warning in the console. So you can see here, no find by name was found in path. So that means that this game object hasn't got its find by name. So if we drag that to the find by name, we'll have the find by name. And now when we drag the path, we'll get the path. So it needs a find by name to find the path. Otherwise, it doesn't know what it doesn't know what it should be getting them. Um, what it's a path to. So if I so you can see now that that's quite a long path you'd have to write in there so just drag it in there and it'll write it in there for you so that's a massive improvement from the previous version uh, another thing with the find by name if you was to drag these to the new uh, a different style as you'd probably expect it will remove the last find by name and update it with the new one so you can just switch styles just like that. Uh, yeah, so I think that covers everything for drag and drop. Uh, yeah, so cheers for using UI styles. Cheers for checking out this video. Uh, until next time.